Hello everybody, Fuse9000X here with a bit of a different video for my channel. This video will be a LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga modding tutorial, and will run you through the steps to create an entirely new playable character. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will be creating Ben Tennyson from the fan comic five years later in his uniform mode attire. Before I begin the tutorial, I'll need to run through everything that you need. Links to all of this can be found in the description below. The first two things that you need are Quick BMS and the GSC script. This will be used to extract the textures that you'll need to edit. The third thing you'll need is HXD or any hex editor. This will be used to re-import the textures back onto the character. The fourth thing you'll need is Paint.net or any image editor that can edit DDS files. I'll be using Paint.net for this tutorial. This will be used to obviously edit said textures. The fifth thing you'll need is any text editor, wordpad, notepad, any standard text editor. The final thing you'll need is an extracted copy of LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. A tutorial on how to co extract your copy of LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga will also be found in the description below. For the second step, you want to go into the folder that you copied and renamed and find all of the GHG and text files. These text files determine the character's abilities, and these model files are the character's models. Because I'm basing my character off of the Endor version of Han Solo, all of these other model files mean nothing to me and I can delete them just fine, as these are the files that are important. However, for the text files, all of the other text files rely on the base text file for Han Solo to function, so I can delete all of them outside of Han Solo's basic text file. Now what I want to do is rename the Han Solo text file to the folder name and these GHG model files to the model name underscore PC and underscore LR underscore PC respectively. The LR PC file is for the low resolution models if you have enhanced graphics turned off. I will not be editing these but you can when it comes down to editing the textures, it's basically the same. Once you've done that, you can come out of the Cars folder. Once you've backed out to the Cars folder, scroll all the way down until you find Cars and Collection.txt and open both text files. In Cars.txt, copy one of the already existing entries and paste it again at the bottom. Change the to whatever you set the folder name to, so in this case, Ben Uniform. And then save the file. And then in collection.txt, scroll all the way down to the bottom and make a new line, collect, in quotation marks, Ben Uniform, or again, whatever you set the folder name to, buy in shop, I'm going to set it to zero, but you can set that value to whatever you want. This basically just adds the character to the cantina shop so you can buy them for use. And the number is just the price. So in this case, it would be zero. You can set that to 14 billion if you want. But that is basically that for the text files. Save it and close both of them. Once you've closed out both of the text files, we can move on to the next step. Go into the folder that you've created, copy the PC or LRPC um, GHG file, and take that to the Quick BMS folder and paste it in there. Once you've pasted the GHG file, open Quick BMS. Load the GSC script, and then the GHG file. Uh, find your output folder. This can be a, a folder that you want, but I'm just going to have it in my Quick BMS folder for now, and then hit save. Close Quick BMS, and you'll find all of the textures related to the character. In this case, this 00, zero is exactly the one that I want to edit, so I'm going to open that in paint.net, but I am also going to open it. One second. I'm also going to open it inside the HXD hex editor. Now, here, it says it's a DXT1. This will be important when it comes down to saving. So I'm going to cut ahead to after I've already edited and finalized the texture and I'm ready to save. And here's the texture. Here's what I edited it from, with the torso detailing, the leg detailing, and all the other colors. 
here's what I edit it to, using this as a reference. Once you're done with that, save it as the DDS file. I've already saved it, but I'm saving it again just to be, just to be sure. And when it comes down to the settings, make sure it's the same settings as DXT1 when you open it in, in the hex editor earlier. That's important, otherwise it might not work. Now, once you've saved that, open the original GHG file that you copied to your quick BMS folder in the text in the hex editor. Have the DDS file open in the hex editor, select all of it, and copy. Now, take to the GHG folder and hit Control F and look for DDS. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because if I show you DDS, there's one, there's one, two, three, four different, there's four references to DDS in the code. However, because this is zero, zero, it's the first texture, so we don't need to look for any of the other ones. Uh, put your text entry point, or whatever you call it, cursor, right at the start of DDS here, because if you look at the start of DDS in the in the DDS file itself, it starts with, well, DDS. And basically, so you put the cursor there, right click, paste right, don't paste insert, otherwise you'll get this warning, and you don't want to change the file size, otherwise the whole thing won't work. So you want to paste right, save that, take your newly edited Ben Uniform GHG, go all the way back to the Ben Uniform folder, or whatever you named it, and replace the file. If you're worried about backups, HXD automatically backs up the file when you edit it. So once you've, so once you've done that, we can test the character for the first time. And now here we are in Complete Saga. Apologies if the gameplay seems a little choppy. OBS doesn't seem to get along with Complete Saga, and I can't work out why. Anyway, oops. Anyway, when you load the game, a way to tell sort of straight away if the mod has loaded properly is your percentage, if it's 100%, will have gone down to 99.9. .9. So, loading, and once the game has finished loading... Just give it a second here. Once it's finished loading, head over to the shop, and there he is. It still says Han Solo, but we'll change that in a second. He's in the shop, which means the slot loaded just fine. Now we have to go test if the textures loaded just fine, or if those need changing. Uh, ignore the ad app, that's just another character that I will release later. And there he is on the grid. And then once negotiations loads, it's the moment of truth, finding out if the character has actually loaded. Negotiations is my go-to test level. Oh, there he is! Right now it's just a Han Solo clone, but uh, we'll be changing that later as well. Great, now that we know that works, we can change the icon and we can change the name. Now that we know that the character textures are working, we need to move on to the next step, which is creating the character icon and the text for the name that appears in the cantina and in the character select grid. In order to do this, we need to go to Stuff, Icons, and find a character icon that has the same amount of characters as what we want to rename it to. For the sake of it, I'm going to rename it to Ben Uniform, which is what I set the folder name to. That has 10 characters in it, so I'm going to find something that has 10 characters in it. In this case, Silhouette. Future cheats to hear with a message. Silhouette wound up not working, and I wound up using Probe Droid instead, but I forgot to record a second take of me editing Probe Droid's icon file, so whenever I mention Silhouette, just pretend I say Probe Droid instead. The process is the same, it's just a different file name. My bad. I'm gonna copy that, and then I'm going to go into Quick DMS, uh, quickly rename this to 000 underscore 2, just for s temporarily. And I'm going to paste the GSC icon down here. Then I open Quick BMS. And. Then I open the, the BMS script. GSC script, sorry. 
and then I go to silhouette icon pc.gsc. Extract it here, and hit save. That puts one file, which is named 000, which is why I renamed the other one. Now I rename silhouette to Ben Uniform underscore icon underscore PC. Uh, G dot GSC. I open up the silhouette icon in paint.net. Whenever paint.net opens up. And then I edit together the logo. Now that I've edited to get the char a character icon, I can save it. I've already saved it, but I'm just going through for the sake of it. And I set it to DXT5. Now this is important because in the in the char in the DDS in HXD, which I have forgotten to open. Here we go. In the DDS in in HXD, it says it's a DXT5. That's an important distinction to make. So I save that over the DDS file and then import it the same way I import a character texture, by aligning the cursor with the beginning of DDX and, DDS sorry, and paste right. Save it there, but we're not quite done with the GSC file. Now what you want to do is you want to control F and whatever you had it, whatever the original name of the GSC file was, you want to search for it. Silhouette. And you want to replace all mentions of silhouette with whatever you're renaming the icon to. So in this case, Ben Uniform. Align the cursor with the beginning of the word and just type Ben Uniform. See, this is what, and this is why it has to be 10 characters long or however long the name is and why the character length has to match. Ben Uniform. There's normally three mentions, so I just go through and replace all of those. And that should be it for the word silhouette. Control save. Close the hex editor, go back to the quick BMS folder, take your edited icon, copy it, go to LEGO Styles Complete Saga, go back into Stuff, Icons, and Paste. Now keep now now that that's here, we can make a character name. By for doing that, we go into Stuff, Text, and you can do this for any language you want, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to use English. An open text.txt. Oh, English.txt, sorry. Now, here's where all the character names are. Here's all of the characters I've modded into the game so far. And we're just going to add a, another character entry. Another line entry. So we go 294. But first, we have to make sure that 294 isn't already taken. Okay, 294 isn't already taken. And then we, just in quotation marks, Ben Hennison Uniform Mode. Close the quotation marks. Save English.txt and close it. Now that we've done that, we can move on to the next step, which is applying this to the character itself. Now that we've made the character icon and the character name, we can apply it to the character itself. Open up Cars, find your character folder, and open up that txt file. Change the name ID to whatever you had it set to before, which is 294. And then change icon to whatever you want to set, whatever you had it set to when you made the GSC, which in this case was Ben Uniform. Uniform, can't spell. Save the file and close it. Now once you close the TXT file, we can test if the character in the name loaded up properly by going into Complete Saga and opening it and opening the game. Now here we are back in Complete Saga to test if the icon and the text have, proper, have properly loaded. In order to do this, we just go into Episode 1, Negotiations, Free Play, and scroll down. Now the text is loaded, but if you can see, the character icon hasn't. This isn't an issue yet. If it doesn't load on the character screen, that's because the character itself hasn't loaded. Any character icons that aren't in Complete Saga by default, when you try to load them without loading the character, such as the character grid of the Cantina Shop, the icon won't load up. So select the character, and let's get it running. 
Wait for negotiations to load. And there it is, a custom character complete with custom icon and custom name. Works just as well for cycling. And if we take him back to the cantina, see it loads in the little loading screen and on the free play, gr free play grid too. And if you want, that's where you can draw the line, but I'm going to show a little bit more of an advanced tweaking in this next step. So if this is where you're happy with the character that you've made, you can feel free to click off the video now, but if you want to go a little bit further, then feel free to stick around. Now in terms of advanced editing, I mean, I'm talking about character ability editing and character animation editing. The character ability editing, like I said earlier, it's all handled in the TXT file. For this character, I don't want him to have a blaster because Ben doesn't have a blaster, he normally uses his aliens to solve the problem, so I'm going to take all mentions of blaster out from his text file. I'm also going to remove the Han Solo variant, uh, because he's not a variant of Han Solo. Uh, I believe that's all, all of the blaster-related anime- blaster-related abilities. However, I need to also take out some of his idle animations and some of his shooting-related animations. Otherwise, they start to they, they get a bit they get a bit weird when changing back and forth between characters. So I remove all anything you see that has anim start is related to the animations. So I remove everything that is related to having a gun. Lunge land, lunge land, fire. Get rid of that. Shoot left, shoot right, shoot behind. Get rid of all of that too. Uh, I also want to get rid of his grapple animation because if he doesn't have a blaster, he doesn't need the grapple. And oh, all of this whiff animation is left over from Indiana Jones because Indiana Jones is technically a Han Solo variant. And I also need to remove zip up from his from his text file. And that removes all traces of a blaster from him, so whenever he goes to attack, he will sort of punch and kick just, um, as a standard, just like Han Solo would up close, but now he has no choice but to, which makes him more of a melee character like a Jedi. Save that, and close it. As for character animations, that's a little bit of a different story. Now, I don't really want to change many of his animations, I just want to change his idle animation, a lot of the characters from LEGO Star Wars 1, a general rule of thumb, LEGO Star Wars 1 characters, their animations aren't compatible with a lot of other characters. However, LEGO Star Wars 2 can be sort of changed and interchanged and, and sort of however you want. So for the sake of our idle animation, we're going to grab, if I can find him here, standard Luke Skywalker. Not Luke Skywalker Jedi, just standard Luke Skywalker. Copy his idle. You want to copy both the AN3 and the BSA file. Now that handles his facial movement, I believe. Go back to Ben Uniform, if I can find it here. Ben Uniform, there it is. Uh, paste it, overwrite the idle animation. Now we have overwritten Ben's idle animation, we can, again, test it in Complete Saga. Here we are in Complete Saga for the final time, hopefully going through and going back into negotiations to once more test the custom character. As you can see, he now has a more standard idle animation as opposed to the cockier animation that Han Solo has where he's got his hands on his hips. And also, no sign of a blaster. He has to go around and hit people. And because I got rid of any any sort of trace animation of his blaster, he has no way of firing whatsoever. If I'd left some of the animations in, some of it would have been glitchy, especially with his combat roll special move. But yeah, that's that's some of the more advanced techniques you can do. I might make a part two for this where it's more, again, sort of more advanced stuff, but 
But now, this is the character that I'm happy with. I'll be releasing this, this Ben, as well as Standard Ben and Eon in a five years later character pack that I'll make a video for sometime next week. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below or ask on the LEGO Modding Discord, which I will leave a link to in the description below, as well as everything else that you will need to make this tutorial work. If you want to take take a look at the inspiration for this mod, please read Five Years Later on the Ink Tank's website that I will also leave in the description below. It's a really great fan comic. If you like either Ben 10 or Danny Phantom, please give it a look. I implore you. But either then, that's it. I'll talk to you in the next video, live stream, or whatever it is that I wind up doing. Thank you very much for watching. Signing out.